I'm so excited to show you how to make these beautiful pumpkins that are going to look like wood. Now the first thing you want to do is to find your pumpkins. I found these pumpkins at the Dollar Tree. Um, the colors weren't exactly what I was looking for. So I thought, well, why not use the crackle technique that I, I used on my piece that I put in the laundry room? So this is where we are today. So I've gone ahead and painted two of my pumpkins with um, an espresso brown color. You can use any color you want to for your base. Feel free to do whatever you want to, but I like this brown color because I really want to make it look like um, a crackled or an old finished wood. So you want to first prep your surface, and I really like to use the Rethunk Junk, the prep. Um, it's really good at deglazing your piece and taking all the oils and everything off of your piece. Um, prep work is so important because if you don't prep well, then your paint is not gonna stick to your surface. So it's really easy. You just wanna spray a little bit on here and wipe it off and then let it dry, and then you're all set to paint. So I've gone ahead. I've got mine painted already. And let me show you how easy this crackle technique is to do. You can use a couple of different glues. I personally like to use the Gorilla Wood Glue, but you can also use the Eileen's Tacky Glue. Um, put you a little bit in a bowl and your paintbrush, and that's pretty much it. Now, the paint that we're going to be using today is the resin paint by Rethunk Junk. I love Rethunk Junk's, um, all of their products. They're really easy to work with and pretty much foolproof. Now, the glue, you can just pour straight into your bowl. Our paint, I'm actually going to pour onto a plate because we don't need very much. And their paint is super thick, which is awesome. But for this particular project, I want my paint to be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to add just a drop or two of water. And if you get too much water, no worries. You can always add more paint to it. But you want your paint to almost be like pancake batter consistency. So this looks like it's going to be pretty good. You're going to be so amazed when you see this technique happen right before your eyes. It's super cool to watch. Now, besides your paint and your glue, I like to use a blow dryer to help dry my pieces. Um, and also it gives me that instant gratification. So the reason I like to use the two different kind of dishes is because you can really see, you know, these are easy to get mixed up. So I know if I've got my glue in my smaller bowl and my paint in the bigger bowl, I should not get these two mixed up. Okay, remember, prep first, paint, let dry. Make sure these are dry overnight. And all you're gonna do is take your paintbrush and just paint your glue on. Don't try to go ahead, don't try to coat the whole thing in paint. You wanna sort of work in sections. And you can tell this color underneath this one was orange. I love the Dollar Tree, y'all. It is my holy grail for decorations. Um, but just because you buy it and it's that color when you buy it, don't be afraid to paint it. Think about the shape that you're after and the size of stuff. And I don't really like to put a whole lot of money into my fall decorations or my holiday decorations because I like to change too much. Okay. So you just want a light coat of glue and if, don't worry about getting it all over. Um, you just want to use a really light touch. You can see I've, I've gone a little bit too hard on it and the orange is sort of poking through there. So just use a light touch when you put your glue on. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now, you're gonna use your blow dryer and you're gonna just barely hit it. Now the consistency that you're after is a tacky finish. And you can see it's a little bit thicker here, so that's gonna, some of that's gonna need to come off because I don't want that to be that thick. Oops, see, I pulled some of that off. That's okay. No worries. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, you're gonna take your blow dryer and you don't have to blow dry it for very long. You wanna be able to touch it and it have sort of like a skin on the top of it. Okay, that 
looks pretty good. Now you want to take your paint and barely brush over the top. You want a really gentle, gentle hand here. And because we're going for this wood look, you want to try to just go up and down. Don't try to go sideways. You want to really try to pull off that wood grain finish. Make sure you get all of your glue covered. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna blow dry it again. Again, you're gonna be able to see this crackle right in front of your eyes, so hold tight. Look at that, isn't that cool? I love it. Okay, so we're gonna just do the same thing all the way around and just repeat the same steps. Glue, blow dry, get the skin, and then lightly put your paint on it. Probably should have gotten a softer paintbrush to put the glue on, but this was the first one I grabbed. So maybe for the next one. And don't be afraid to experiment. Um, I actually experimented with the different glues in a previous project that I did in my laundry room. And I did sort of like a paneled shelf piece. Um, and every panel I painted a different color of blue to go with our beach theme at the house, the beach house. And it turned out really cool because the different glues gave me a different texture. So don't be afraid to sort of mix up your glues a little bit. The trick is just letting that skim get over the top before you put your paint over it. Okay, so that looks pretty even. And you don't have to use the blow dryer, it'll work on its own, but I'm the instant gratification girl and I like to see it happen right in front of my face. So we're gonna hit this again with the blow dryer. Now, if for some reason you get this too dry, you're not gonna get that cool crackle finish. So you don't want to over dry your glue. And if some of your glue starts to come up, don't worry. It'll still give that cool crackle finish. Okay, blow dry again.
we're almost done. We've got one more little section here. Same thing as before. Glue, dry. Paint, dry. This is like the easiest project ever. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's blow dry again. Again, you want to make sure it's just got a skin on the top of it. If you get it too dry, remember it's not going to crackle. And just lightly put your white on top of it. You know, you could do these in any color. They don't have to be white. Um, you can actually layer different colors. Maybe a, I don't know, a white with a turquoise underneath it. That would be super cool. Or if you just want to do the orange with the brown underneath it for the pumpkin. I'm not much of a traditional girl, so I have to be different and be crazy. Time to blow dry. you have it. Isn't it cool? I haven't decided what I want to do with the stem yet. Um, I may actually just paint it the espresso brown and not antique it at all. Um, but I'm not sure yet. I may just paint it white and maybe crackle that. You know, let's try that. If, the thing is, if you don't like something, you can always just paint it again. So let's see if this gold may actually come through in a crackle. You gotta love when you just kind of wing it on camera, right? Okay, I think I got all of that covered. I may like this, y'all. Hold on.
I think I like it. What do y'all think? I love it. Okay, so now you would do the same thing for the other two pumpkins. And I'll share with you what my thought process was. So these had a little sticker on the bottom of them. So my plan is to take the sticker off once I get all of these painted. And I'm actually gonna stack these. I'm gonna stack these and make a little topiary. Isn't that gonna be cute? It's gonna look like a little pumpkin topiary. And the best part is it cost me $3. So be sure to stay tuned to the blog to be able to see the finished product and also to check out the other super cool products that we've got coming on for, um, for fall. I've got lots of neat projects planned. Um, most of them are Dollar Tree DIYs. So be sure to check back and see the finished product. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye. Hey guys, so I know I told y'all that I was done, but I just happened to come up with something super cool and I wanted to tell y'all about it. So do you see the difference here in the stems? So what I decided to do was to take a little bit of my Rethunk Junk Dark Glaze and just hit the top of this pumpkin with the glaze. I wasn't really loving this tone on tone white. Yeah, you could see the gold coming through a little bit, but I don't know, I just felt like it needed a little bit of something. So all I did was take my little paintbrush and kind of paint a little bit of glaze on it. Now normally when you work with this glaze, you wanna use a wet um, paper towel. And I actually have some pumpkins that I'm gonna show y'all later on that I did, and I'll be doing a video on that as well. And that technique was a little bit different with the glaze. I would actually rub the glaze in with the paper towel and it has a super cool look. So you wanna let this set for just a minute. That's what it looks like, it doesn't look great. And you wanna take your wet paper towel and just sort of start rubbing some of it off. You wanna use a light touch, you don't wanna you know, pull all of it off, you just wanna go and pull some of it off. But don't y'all think that looks so much better? I do. I love it. So we'll do the last one. Now one thing I forgot to mention in my earlier video was how important it is to seal your pieces. Um, Rethunk Junk makes a sealer, and I'll show y'all show y'all what that looks like in just a second. Um, Again, I love all of their products. They have just an amazing line of products. And it's so different. It's not your traditional chalk paint. It's gonna be unlike anything you've ever used before. So we'll let this sit for just a minute. Okay, now this is the Tough Top Satin Top Coat. I really love this stuff. It's super easy to put on. Um, you just want to make sure you go in the same direction. You don't want to, you know, kind of go this way and that way. You want to kind of go in the same direction with the stuff. But it goes on super easy, um, and it, it dries really well, too. Okay, so we're going to take this. Pull some of it off. Okay, what do y'all think? Aren't they cool? I love how they're all different. Just like wood, when it ages, it all looks different. So we're probably gonna hit these pumpkins, maybe put some raffia ribbon around them. Um, I'm not 100% sold on stacking them. I may stack two, or I may stack, you know, these two guys together, kind of like that too. But I'll show you how I'll use those in my fall decorations. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in.